issue. And let's take a look at the headlines in our dailies quickly. And I will introduce my guest to you. We'll start off with a daily graphic and uh, some photos of the Accra Tema motorway. Uh, it shows a motor rider on there as well and says, a year on, motorway is still in bad shape. Well, we're told that there was some work that needed to be started on it. And, well, the rains have come down. And so clearly we're seeing the effects of the rains on there. Now, GRA to replace tins with Ghana card numbers next year. 320 recovered Pantan patients reintegrate with families and prosecutes Bank of Ghana officials over CD depreciation. A lawyer has petitioned the attorney general. Um, okay. Well, auditor general, pardon me. Uh, well, actually, attorney general, forgive me. So cancer. Major killer disease in 2020. That's on the Ghanaian Times. A picture of the health minister. It says 15,802 people died. 24,009 new cases recorded. GIDA proposes special tariffs for small-scale farmers to aid food production. That's on page 17. IGP advises British High Commissioner to keep within limits. And we'll discuss that into details today. But the finder also says UK High Commissioner's Baka Voma will arrest tweet uninformed uh the police says it was also very biased and uh and what Things never change. Like Gino's quality recipe that gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister, we did what Punsan no Ankasa. Just like I remember. <laughs> Best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, am I drowning yet the ankasa? Say Gino dear, fear ni fear. It's delicious, yo! This advert is FDA approved. Hey, what for now when you're busy? Sister. I didn't feel well, my hemi takra. I didn't. Me rent your shirt. Think I'm in feed and I'm on my back to land. It's me copper dime. We need that with your sister. Ah, of what? See, see, I ain't chimp dime be oh. Yes, I'm in chimp dime. Me dey dey. Debbie, rent it up. I want it. Debbie, me too, man. Who did you phone? I'm in chair with you. Phone, phone. Ah, phone what? Eh. Oko App Store and our Play Store. On some ababa. Eh. Now, what download the app? No, rent it. Okay. Aha. Now, for a dime, tie Ben, I'll pay. Eh, single room self contained. Single room. Yeah. Single room self contained. Open air condition. Okay, open dining room area, man. Mm, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Wow. The price is not going to be able to do it. They rent it to me, you know. And you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. Sister, I'm not going to be able to do it. So you feel it. Mm -hmm. Never thought of that. What about a rent is so and so? And it's also our pet down hand so. Won't you bet me a call rent is so? And one, and one, no, no. A fear of one person would demo die my high. Individual some person will hide dying. Oh, fear of a person will turn and ask a person who tough here. Rent it up on a bebo. There are so many places we dream of being, and people we would love to share these moments with. Well, that power can be in your hands. Life is now. Sign up to our credit card and enjoy up to 45 days interest-free credit so you can ease your cash flow for other investments. Join the Visa Exclusive Club with a priority pass to over 1,200 airport lounges, a collection of luxury hotels and global concierge services, 24-7 customer service, multi-trip insurance and emergency top-ups, Track your expenses and payments easily. Use on over 24 million ATMs worldwide with rewards and discounts at selected merchants and cash back for every purchase you make. All with the flexibility of blocking and unblocking your card. There's Republic Visa Classic, Adishi, Business and Infinite Credit Cards. Republic Bank, we are the one for you. Wake up the champion in your child. Give them energy to go further. Let Milo with Active Go and the natural goodness of malt, milk, and cocoa helps wake up the champion in your child. Milo. This advert is FDA approved. Why this long face? 
eat my kids. They are not eating as they used to. This advert is FDA approved. Oh, really? Yes. They only need a good multivitamin. Yes. Try this. Kindervite syrup. Kindervite syrup? Yes. But only one. Now a carton. I just gave them Kindervite syrup. It will build up resistance against some infections, making them stronger. And it will help them improve their appetite to enjoy their favorite. Where are the children? Kindervite syrup. Children's multi. For bulk purchases, locate as P Pharmaceutical Limited. Junior, let's play riddle, riddle. Riddle. What was milky, but is now milkier? Milkier. And yeah, even more in the pack. And they're your favorite. Pack biscuits. More milkiness in every bite. And more biscuits in every pack. Pack biscuits. Pack up your day more. This advert is FDA approved. Banga wego. Trust us, it's the most reliable, the most prestigious, and unquestionably, the largest beauty pageant in Ghana. Are you beautiful, intelligent, and confident enough to be the next Ghana's most beautiful? If that's the case, then what are you waiting for? If you're fluent in both English and your local language, then take that bold step. Yes, be bold like I was, and be part of greatness, as we meet your beautiful queens at your baby resorts. To the history region! Meet me in Tamale on the 4th of June at Fadach Hotel, 9 a.m. And meet me in Kumasi on the 7th of June at Mickling Hotel, also at 9 a.m. I will catch you at the Oil City on the 8th of June at Rainbow Hotel at 9 a.m. Last but not least, meet me in Accra on the 11th of June at Adesawe TV3 at 9 a.m. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Join Ghana's Most Beautiful and be the next queen. And in addition to that, win a brand new car, cash prize, a year's supply of wardrobe, and the enviable crown. Remember to come dressed appropriately. The dress code is a white tank top with an African print skirt, shorts, or trousers. Ladies, I really wish I don't have to give up my crown. <laughs> ah, my I can only wish. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in your search. GMB 2022. Come prepared and meet us at your zoos. Cheers. Banga wego. GMB 2022 is brought to you by Gino, Airtel Tigo, Deluxe Acrylic Paint, Camel, now from Carex, Calipo, Freedom from Casa Preco, Silver Star Auto Limited. back the big issue continues on tv3 new the apologies for that glitch but we get to continue at this point joining me in the studios this morning i have paul grave watch it down he is the government spokesperson on governance and security good morning good morning how are you doing uh, very well thank you okay good to see you this morning and also honorable ala sansini is the mp for tamale north constituency good morning good morning how are you doing how, how do you I'm say good morning in in uh, your language 
after all the dances and the riding of horses. I know, I still don't remember. It's the less I expected. <laughs> How do you say that? Daspa. 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 Mm. What language is that? That's Dagbani. Dagbani, Daspa. Yes, so if you say Daspa, what do we say? Nah. 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 So when does Tor come in? Tor. Yeah, when they say Tor. Tor is okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I, I hope I remember this the <laughs> next time that I <laughs> see Nansuma. 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 That's the upper east. Okay. Oh, Nansuma. 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 That's Daspa. It. Anyway, let's carry on with business this morning. And we'll start off with uh, uh, IGP's letter yesterday, four-page letter that was written to the British High Commissioner in response to a tweet that she put out on the 17th of May 2022 that read, Oliver Baka Vomau, convener of Fix the Country Movement, arrested again. I understand for a motoring offence on his way to court. I'll be interested to see where this goes. Remember that that morning, Oliver was said to have been arrested, along with other people who had also, um, you know, flouted the motoring um, rules on our roads. So the IGP released a statement. It was strong worded. I'll just read a few lines and then we'll carry on. So it said in the second paragraph that ordinarily, the Ghana Police Service would not have responded to comments such as yours, obviously made from either a biased or uninformed position. However, we have learned from previous painful experience that it has not been helpful to ignore such misguided, unwarranted and biased comments intended to tarnish the reputation of the Ghana Police Service and that of our country. And what is more, we consider your tweet a violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations 1961, with, uh, which enjoins diplomatic missions not to interfere in the internal affairs of their host country. So they went on to explain exactly why Oliver uh, Vomawa was arrested the first time with regards to allegations of treason and also asked some 15 questions. One of them would be, are the instances in your country where people are permitted to openly uh, threaten the security of the state with a coup? Of course, in reference to Olivier Vomawo and that tweet that he put out. In instances where individuals have threatened the security of a state, does your criminal justice system celebrate such persons and urge them on to destabilize your country? So some have described this as strongly worded, very unnecessary uh, to have responded. In fact, the British High Commissioner herself said she was not expecting this kind of response and her tweet was not going to cause um, you know, any confusion at all. And so she didn't expect this. Let's speak quickly to Ambassador Sam. P. Yali, he uh, was the ambassador to China under the Eswa Mahama government. We'll take his thoughts on this quickly and then I'll come to my guest in the studio. Good morning, Ambassador. Good morning, Bella. Th thank How you so you? much. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're well. Well, I want, I'm well. Uh, see that I have uh, a big problem uh, with the demise of my wife. Apologies. Apologies. Now, I was an ambassador, the no, high commissioner. High Commissioner. So India, India okay. Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Maldives, mm. and not China. Okay, all right. Thank you for that correction. And uh, uh, sorry about your wife again. Uh, Bella, Bella, the whole issue of the IGP's letter has raised very serious concerns in diplomatic circles. Mm. The letter sought to protect Ghana under the Vienna Convention. Mm -hmm. But first and foremost, the Vienna Convention, which Ghana is a party, is between Ghana and other countries, and not the IGP of Ghana and other countries. Mm. And in diplomacy, where somebody or a, a counselor, ambassador, is being accused of violating the Vienna Convention. There's a route to that. Mm. Usually, all the issues will be discussed for the foreign minister to take it up with the ambassador. Okay. It does not lie in the mark of any individual or organization who is not per se a signatory to the Vienna Con Convention to seek to enforce it. That is the first thing. Mm. So, and so ideally, ideally, it should have been our foreign minister 
who should have drawn the attention of the British High Commission if indeed his uh, action or the tweet was violating any law in Ghana. Mm. The second point is that some of us are appalled by diplomatic infringements that then is getting involved. Mm. Remember the demolition of the Nigerian High Commission uh, residence. Mm -hmm. The demolition of the Bulgarian um, uh, um, residence. Yeah. These are number one obstruction to the Vienna Convention and abuse of the Vienna Convention. Mm. Thirdly, somebody has raised the issue of sovereignty upon which the IDP premised his uh, right up and the Jufiasm. Mm. The, uh, that one is totally wrong or misinformed. What that person seeks to see is syn synthetic nationalism. Because Ghana is a member of the Commonwealth. Okay. Not so. Yeah. And the Commonwealth has its principles, which includes demo promotion of democracy, promotion of human rights, international peace and security, mm. tolerance, respect and understanding, freedom of expression, and rule of law. Mm. These are conventions Ghana has signed, the treaties Ghana has signed. Mm -hmm. We are also a member of the United Nations. And the United Nations has four pillars. One, peace and security, human rights, development. Mm. And the most important and recent uh, pillar is responsibility to protect. And under this one, it will permission, I will read the provision. Okay, just briefly, please. please. Yeah. If a state is manifestly failing to protect its population, the international community must be prepared to take appropriate collective action in a timely and decisive manner mm. in accordance with the United Nations Charter. Oh, we are members of these organizations and have signed all these treaties. Mm. Now, let us come to the subject matter at hand. The British High Commissioner, according to the facts that we know, mm -hmm. just tweeted that he is following the arrest of uh, uh, Oliver Wamawo mm -hmm. with keen interest or to that effect. That the IDP, out of his own volition, wrote a letter, first and foremost, violating the Vienna Convention he, because he's not a he's not a signatory. Okay. Two, he is also violating the Vienna Convention because under the convention, communications of embassies are also uh, under immunity. Mm. Now, so the crux of the matter is. What is the British High Commissioner interested in? Is he not interested or has a right to protect the interest of an innocent Ghanaian who has been accused of high treason? And according to the IGP's letter, it appears that it's a foregone conclusion and the man has been convicted of treason. Meanwhile, he has not been adjudged such by the court of competent jurisdiction. Mm. So the IDP's angle appears to suggest that Prima Fasi, uh, Oliver has been accused and convicted of uh, high treason. Okay. But even if a person has been accused of high treason, mm. he's entitled to defense. Of course. So the British High Commissioner then says that I am watching this with keen interest. But and of course... Mm. The second arrest of Oliver, which attracted the British High Commissioner, is the fact that the man had driven on a white line on a road. Mm. And you saw the uh, rumble star of his arrest.
my dear. But, Ambassador, people, I mean... Okay, now just a quick one because if you listen to international <coughs> relations experts, Professor Vladimir H. Dan, so he says that that tweet contains some innuendos that could have sparked a revolution or, or of some sort. You that know, is his own that is his own imagination. All the, the issues that we are people are raising are their own imaginations. Oliver uh, or the tweet took place about a week ago. What mm. has happened? I mean, in law. We, we have such a principle of proximity. I mean, okay. the, the church, how many people even saw it? Who mm. was going to mob, be mobilized under that? So, so they you should stop mm. removing scarecrows in our gardens because already we are under economic hardships and we are just managing it. So they should remove the head scarecrows. Only recently, they were talking about uh, uh, terrorists. Mm. All of us are wary of that. But they are doing so because the World Bank has given them money for, to protect terrorism. And I believe that for, but for that, no such statement would have come. My, 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 my advice is that the country is already uh, difficult. Okay. And official holdom should not add any scarecrows in our gardens. All right. Th Kenyans are not interested in what they are assuming and accusing other people of. All right. Thank you so much, Ambassador, for speaking to us. Ambassador Sampi Ali is a former High Commissioner to India and Bangladesh under the as well, uh, Mahama government. Pogri, I'll come to you so you can respond to what um, Ambassador Sampi Ali has said. Okay. That in actual fact, from what he said, he's saying that this letter rather even exacerbates the issue and it is rather the IGP who is going against the Vienna Convention by responding because it was not his place in the first place. That should have been the job of the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Okay, so Bella, um, a very good morning to you and mm. to um, Senior. How are you doing? Very well, Pablo. And to your viewers. Um, I think that it's important that discussing this issue must be discussed with the highest level of sensitivity mm. that it deserves. Let me just um, go through a few things. I think on the 9th of February, there was a tweet by Osajefo Oliver Bakavoyomo, and he said, if this E levy passes, after this cake bullshit, I will do a coup myself, useless army. And then on the 24th of January, same person, Oliver Bakavoyomo, said, Romano. I welcome mm. the news of an ongoing coup by the junior ranks just next door in Burkina Faso. I wish the young coup makers all the best in their struggle. Mm. And then another tweet on the 8th of February, Voma War said, if all agree, as the government reminds us that the alternative to this substandard governance is scarier, then ladies and gentlemen, I think I am ready for that coup West Africa has been serving of late. Mami, Mami's coup, two city, Gary, one city, fish, 10 pesos, hashtag fish the country. And then another tweet as well, on the 1st of um, February, 2022, he says, I welcome the news of an ongoing coup in Guinea-Bissau. I want to remind all that in Ghanaian constitutional law, only successful coups are legal. Are you going to read all the tweets? I need to be out? able to read the tweet. I think it's important. Okay. Because we are informing people, and I'm just ending. And then um, on the 10th of February, same person says, I call for the end of an old Ghana because for the new Ghana to be built, the one... The old one must give away, end. So if you look at all these tweets that have come from this individual, I believe very well that um, with, with the greatest of respect to Ambassador Saliyali, I think that his issues he's raising is a bit out of control. Some P, by the Some way, P. yes. Some P Yali. Some P Yali, yes. Okay, yes. yes. Ambassador Some P Yali. Yes. Yeah, sure. I think his issues he's raising um, is a bit out of context, and I think we need to situate it very well. There are the, the, the Vienna Convention, this is it, mm -hmm. 1961. Mm -hmm. It's a convention between two countries. These conventions are conventions signed between countries. Mm -hmm. Ghana is represented on the United Nations. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if this tweet, as it is, and you are aware that this man has been arraigned before court, and I have all his court um, cases here, even when he hasn't got persons who are going to bail him out because nobody wants to stand behind him. It's here in the evidence that um, the representative of the Attorney General gave. It's here. 
And then also he's not even willing to disclose where he lives. And so the threat is extremely eminent. I find it um, of a deep concern mm -hmm. that uh, Excellency Harriet Thompson would associate herself in this manner, in this regard. Because the Vienna Convention, as I said, is a convention that is between countries and not a convention that, as the ambassador is referring to, that um, the IGP has no local standing in responding to this issue. Mm. This tweet that came very much mm -hmm. from Ambassador um, Thompson is a tweet that necessitates a response from the IGP because he says that Why the... Oliver Baka von Mawo, convener mm -hmm. of Fix the Country Movement, arrested again. We In this country, who, who are the persons that are mandated to cause arrest? Mm -hmm. It's the police. So let me read Article 3. And if Ambassador would mind, he can reference and refresh his memory. Article 3 of the Vienna Convention, the functions of a diplomatic mission mm -hmm. consist of the following inter-ally in. A, representing the sending state in the receiving state. B, protecting in the receiving state the interests of the sending state and of its nationals, mm -hmm. sending state and of its nationals within the limits permitted by international law. Hearing of what interest is this statement? Is um, Vomario a British citizen? But we also are aware from the convention no, as no, well that no. whatever communication there is, let me, it let has me. to come from the foreign affairs. Let's situate it very well. So what let's, is the business of the IGP no, writing a letter no, directly the to I, respond the IGP, to her? The IGP represents a state institution, but which is he, the Ghana police, which is the Ghana police service. But what does the Vienna Convention say? That the whatever convention, communication between, no, it says it should go through no, the Foreign Affairs Ministry. It's the Foreign Affairs Ministry that should communicate. No, no, you see, it's regardless the internal dynamics of diplomatic conversations that is ongoing. It was inappropriate for Harriet Thompson, Excellency, to tweet in that manner. Maybe if fair in any point. Case at all, exactly. If, if in any case at all, she had the direct communication channels through the diplomatic channels which she could have used. In same manner, the diplomacy of various countries does not permit us to interfere in internal matters, mm. which the IGP raised very much in reference to the Vienna Convention. Do you not think in mm -hmm. any way that if this country signs any agreement on behalf of the country, it binds every state institution? Do you not also think in any way that if this country signs any legal document on behalf of the country, every state institution can pick up document in defense? Mm. If I find myself, let's give a typical example. I have had an opportunity of traveling to 78 countries. If I find myself in Indonesia, which is the highest, the country with the highest level of Muslims, and I am arrested, it is in my interest to call on the ambassador representing my country for him to come to my rescue. Mm. That is the purpose for which ambassadors are sent into the country. Let me, not, let me just continue. Number three, in terms of Article 3, mm -hmm. it says that negotiating with the government of the receiving state, asserting by all lawful means, conditions and developments in the receiving state, and reporting thereon to the government of the sending state, mm -hmm. promoting friendly relations between the sending state and the receiving state, and developing their economic, cultural, and scientific relations. Mm -hmm. And then thereafter, he just concludes by saying, nothing in the present convention shall be construed as preventing the performance of consular functions and the preamble to the Vienna Convention, which may be ambassador and other persons who need to be enlightened about it. It says that the state parties to present this convention, recalling, the, recalling that peoples of all nations from ancient times have recognized the status of diplomatic agents, having in mind the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations concerning the sovereign and equality of states, mm. the maintenance and international peace and security and the promotion of friendly relations among others. I think that um, now we, we need to situate it very well. With everything that you have read, it doesn't say that if... I mean, of course, if you say that it was wrong for her to even meddle in internal it affairs, was it doesn't say that whatever institution that she yeah. may be referring to has the right to respond. It says that whatever communication there is, no, it has to come from the foreign affairs I, no, ministry. I, I, I think, I think, and so, I think why the, the, did the, the IGP not being, channel his concerns through the foreign affairs why ministry? Did, why which did, is what everybody's asking. Why did, why did Harriet Thompson not channel her concerns through so the So she may have made a mistake, things. fine. I think that do two for, wrongs make a right? No, two wrongs don't make a so right. So why did we have to do that? think the IGP erred in any way because the tweet is in reference to the IGP. He said, just focus on the tweet. You I understand. Uh -huh. I understand. He says, he says that Oliver Baka von Mawo, convener of Fix the Country Movement, arrested again. Which state institution 
causes arrest. And so I think that, you see, let's situate the conversations very okay. much in context. It's not isolated at all. And if you may, just um, before we just move briefly, on to... So yes, we can just very briefly, bring this, in issue, this issue is very, very important. as well. On the 9th of March, mm -hmm. when um, Oliver was arrayed before court, just a few things that I, 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 I would read. It stated that this applicant is a postgraduate student of University of Cambridge, United Kingdom. That on February 11th, at about 10.30 p.m., the applicant was arrested at Kotoka International Airport and brought to Ashaman Police Station for smooth operalization of the things. He says that, that the applicant was subsequently charged for the offense of treason, felony, contrary to Section 182B, Criminal Offenses Act 1960, Act 29. Why is it in any way that the excellency Harriet Thompson mm. would want to associate herself to a young man who is going through a process of this nature. Now, okay. he also says that, no, let me just finish. He also says that the, that investigation disclosed that the applicant has since 2021 been inciting social media followers to effect an unlawful means of an overthrow of the constitutionally established organs of the government of Ghana. It also says that investigation reveals that the applicant has since 2001, through a number of posts on his Facebook and Twitter social media accounts, been advocating for the overthrow of the constitution. Are you declaring him guilty when the case is I not I have closed? not declared him guilty. Exactly. I'm just reading so the evidence. So he is not guilty until proven Absolutely. guilty. Absolutely. Yes, then, this may be some evidence, no, but this, until no, the court see, of law declares no, him guilty, but then, we see, cannot use this against him no, and relate that to what no, the High Commissioner see, tweeted. See, unless, of course, unless, of course, we are trying to water down the conversation. No, we are not. We want but you to are reading advance something. and elevate to the conversation and I'm, based I'm on the here. issues that are at hand. Uh -huh. The issues that are at hand, with the greatest of respect and apology, I do not think that any diplomatic officer, as a foreign service officer, mm -hmm. has any local standing to meddle into the internal matters of the country. Are you not repeating the same mistake that um, the IGP may have the repeated? The IGP because has not... it looked as if in the letter he had already declared that Oliver was guilty. No, I don't think he so. He was no, judging no, the man. No, and that's can, no, exactly no, what you you're see, also doing? No, no, Bella, you can't say that. How can, how can you say that he was judging the man? Is the IGP a judge? But, does okay. he represent a high okay. court? Does he represent a Supreme Court? The IGP does not represent a Supreme Court. Okay. Does not really, do you see, this issue, these are the reasons why we ask for state institutions to work. In this country, mm -hmm. when state institutions are working, we are rising up and saying state institutions should not work. This is a state institution that is working. I believe that we should have a bipartisan conversation, condemn this act to the highest level that it deserves, mm -hmm. and call to order um, 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 Excellency Harriet Thompson. Okay. I tried to reach her yesterday, Excellency Harriet Thompson, that this maybe he might, she might, or she might not have, um, and she might have misunderstood, and she might have underestimated the impact of it. But the, the reason why this young man is going through trial is a, res is a result of inciting persons on social media. But he is and not guilty are, until well, proven guilty. guilty. No now, this is a, a restricted letter, so it was not supposed to have come to the public domain. How and why is it out here, first of all? Why are we discussing it if it is not of a matter of interest? This is but a public... It is, this it is, is written restricted. If you this, look at it, this, then clearly this is, it is a regardless. security matter. No, you I, speak on security. Absolutely. Let me explain to you. Uh -huh. This is a public document. Mm -hmm. Her tweet was a public document. Mm -hmm. Good. This document, in essence of the discussion under, under now, must be made available. I have a copy of it restricted must be. as well. When, when a letter says restricted, what does it mean? It means that it goes within certain environments. And the media, and is, so, a fourth, the media is a fourth arm of the realm. Don't lose sight of but that. But once it comes to the you media, it goes to the public. Role. If the public, are, we are having a citizen engagement at this stage of our level of security. So who brought it to the media? I can't. Who brought it out? Was how it did deliberate? You receive your how was did, it deliberate how did you receive that it came out how did you in the public your, domain? How did you receive your copy? Was it deliberate that it how came out in the public domain? Copy? How did you receive your copy? Is government happy that for something like this that is supposed to have been uh, directed straight to the people involved, it came out to the public the domain? Government is concerned that... Excellency Thompson would associate herself with a okay. young man who is going through a process of this All right. nature. Well, you haven't answered my question, really. How, how did the letter get out there is what we're asking. And are you then, happy that I, it I'm is out there? But let me bring Alaji in. Yeah. Let, let me bring Alaji in. Don't worry. You've spoken for a while. Alaji. Good morning to Paul Gray. Good morning to our viewers. And um, the more I listen to him, the more I get confused. I don't really get the, you know, focus of, uh, you know, his, the conversation that he's having this morning. Um, the answer to your question is that uh, the police actually tweeted this letter, despite the fact that it is written restricted on it. Mm. <laughs> the police, you know, Twitter handle shared it. I mean, that adds to 
the recklessness in all of this. And I think that we need to be very fair to the facts. The IGP on this matter went overboard. Completely overboard. How so? Ambassador Sampiali points to, you know, the right procedure, even in drawing a foreign envoy, a foreign envoy's attention to acts that may be in, interpreted to mean in, in you know, uh, uh, meddling in, in local uh, governance. There's a procedure. Mm. It's not left for anybody to draw a foreign envoy's attention to meddling in local politics and governance. It's not left for anybody. I mean, I cannot just, by virtue of being a member of parliament, pick a letter and write to a foreign envoy to stop meddling in Ghana's politics. That's a procedure, unless I do so in my capacity mm. as, a, as a person, but not on behalf of the state. And in that case, I will not be citing the, the Vienna Convention because the Vienna Convention works within states. Mm. It's, and like he was reading, that's why I said I don't get his, when he was reading the Vienna Convention, he was talking about state to state, state mm. to state, not state to institutions of state. There are two different things. State to state is different from state to institutions of state. But he says that that and tweet clearly was referring to the police because they are the ones who I'll come make to arrests. The tweet. I'll come to the tweet. I'll come to the tweet. And so if you are going to enforce anything under the Vienna Convention, it does not lie with the IGP to do so. The IGP can at best make a complaint, draw attention to this mm you know, uh, 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 by writing to the Foreign Affairs Minister. And I'll use myself as an example in this case. Mm. I mean, you recall when there were reports uh, that a foreign embassy denied me visa mm -hmm. because of this LGBTQ thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the interviews that I granted, I suggested that I didn't believe the denial was linked to the LGBTQ, but I was going to make a report to the Foreign Affairs Ministry, mm. even as a member of parliament, if I felt aggrieved and thought that the Vienna Convention had been, you know, uh, 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 infringed upon, mm. I was not going to take it upon myself because it does not lie within my authority to do so. It is for the Foreign Affairs Ministry to intervene, even on behalf of a member of, member of parliament. So that is what the IGP could have done. That is, that is, mm. if we agree that the threat amounted to, you know, an infringement, of the Vienna Convention. But, Bella, what did the High Commissioner write? I understand for traffic offenses. Mm -hmm. I will be interested to see where this goes. How does an expression of interest in a matter, in the way that she did, you know, uh, 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 get interpreted to mean that it is trying to control or inter interfere. Are there not innuendos in there? And again, you know, Professor Vladimir Intridansu says that this could also cause disaffection for the state. And if you don't take it, eventually that could lead to a revolution. What I'm saying is that interference, interference is defined mm. in English language. It's defined. And I'm saying that the tweet said she was interested mm. in what was going on. Every foreign envoy must be interested in what is happening in the country that. He is uh, representing his country. Mm. He's interested. That is not interference. Showing an interest in a matter does not amount to interfering in that matter. But if she That's says, point I would want to see how this case ends. Because she will have to report back to her country. Is that not what foreign envoys do? Should. About developments mm. in the country. But should she have tweeted knowing how sensitive this matter with regards to Oliver Roma so, um, so, is? So, how is it? She's a foreign envoy. Mm. She's interested in the developments in the country and she has made it public that I'm interested in how this will go. Mm. How is that interfering? How? I mean, unless anybody can explain to me how that interest that she has expressed amount to an interference. Will, will that result in the judges doing something different or the police doing something different, something they wouldn't have done? I am interested. So for me, the right response to the IGP would have been to perhaps 
uh, tidy the language a bit mm. because the response is all over the place with unnecessary strong adjectives that for me doesn't doesn't find space is that in what the current really so the IGP, is the crux of the me, matter the fact that sentence. he responded let me finish the, sentence. Mm. Let me finish. the IGP could have responded to the you know uh, uh, high commissioner addressing the fact that you have heard it's a traffic offense yes it's a traffic offense and these are the issues mm -hmm. Well, you are interested in how this matter will go. Yes, we as prosecutors too are interested because these are the things we are prosecuting in court. Mm. And we hope that this information will help your work in Ghana. The IGP should have written that, just, that instead. Just, just simple. You are updating her. You have seen that she's interested. So give her the information. But should that, that still not go but through the Foreign Affairs it, Ministry? Well, that could have been sent as a private copy to her. Okay. Not as a public thing. But don't, make, don't, don't turn this into a war, a battle you know, a fight, grandstanding, posturing, as I, I think that the IGP simply got it overboard. I mean, I mean I've got it wrong. She, he went overboard. Mm. He may have been guided by good intention, but he simply, simply got it wrong. Mm. First of all, the letter is restricted. And like I've indicated, I've seen it on the Twitter handle of the police service. Why? Why do you do that? What, who are you trying to be impressed? I mean, that's why some people will say the celebrity IGB. Why are you trying to impress? What is that? Why do you even share that publicly? Secondly, w w was that, was the tweet of the high commissioner, I mean, does the tweet of the high commissioner warrant the kind of language that you use? Because she says, arrested again, mm -hmm. I understand for traffic offense, I'm interested in how this will go. Mm -hmm. So if you are minded to respond to her, give her the information that you think will be useful to her. Okay. Why do you turn it into some kind of a battle, you know, that, that, that shouldn't exist. Because if Ghana is going to uh, uh, battle the high commissioner of, of UK, it does not lie with the IGP to start that battle of words. It is the foreign affairs minister who should start the battle of words. And if need be, the president himself who should start th that battle of words. The battle of words should not come from the IGP. The IGP could have simply given the lady the information she wanted. Because okay. for me, an interest in a matter does not amount to an interference. Alaji, so point 10, um, X, says that is there any particular reason, this is from the IGP's letter, is there any particular reason why of all the people arrested daily for various offenses in Ghana, mm -hmm. you are especially interested in this person's case. We do understand that that day when Oliver was arrested for uh, the traffic offense, there were other people who had also been arrested as well. Is this not a genuine question to ask? That there are people who are arrested on a daily basis for motor offenses. Why are you particularly interested in this person? Once again, let me repeat the point I made. All of this could have been tidied up and written as an information memo to the foreign affairs mm. no to, to the high commissioner okay it could have been tidied up and written as an information memo sent to educate or inform the high commissioner based on the interest that she has expressed on her twitter handle mm. so you have seen that she has expressed interest in seeing how this matter will go so you give her all the information in a very you know a tidy way it could have you know suffice secondly mm -hmm. We must understand, and I have said it here, that this government seemed to have lost focus in terms of how to deal with people who express themselves and do so strongly against this administration. How? You see, there's a difference between national security, providing national security and providing regime security. Mm. And I think this government is more focused on regime security than national security. I have said it many times that the way the government is handling Oliver, sometimes, sometimes, mm. their approach is more of a threat to our security than even what the gentleman is doing. How? Over the years, and if you study coups across the world, mm. sometimes it takes one person who may not be right who may not be saying the right things, at least 
for people who are logical and reasonable, but who may be saying the things that are that that, that are popular. Mm. He may be saying the things that are popular with the masses. And so when he is saying things that are popular with the masses, the way you handle him can either get the masses to rise up or can de-escalate whatever tension his comments can, can bring about. Mm. And I'm saying that the approach this government has used in handling people like Oliver is more of a national threat, security threat than even the gentleman himself. And so clearly, if I am a foreign envoy or if I were not in politics mm. and I was just even doing my business, trust me, Bella, I'll be interested every time Oliver names comes up mm. because of the way national security is handling and because of the popular support he has. Okay. Look, it took a gentleman whose name many don't know in the Arab Spring to put fire on himself to get everybody to overthrow governments in the uh, 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 in all, uh, was mm. it uh, in, in Egypt? Mm -hmm. A gentleman whose name nobody knows, but because he put fire on himself, it was enough to anger everybody to mass up and demand the overthrow of a government. So let us be careful the way we handle such people. Does this and so, as a foreign envoy, she is right to be interested in Oliver. And but that is maybe her channel. Maybe her no. channel was wrong because it clearly also states, and let me just read uh, Article 41 mm -hmm. of the Vienna Convention. It says that without prejudice, uh, well, this is 41.1. Mm -hmm. Let me go to 2. It says, all official business mm -hmm. with the receiving state entrusted to the mission by the sending state shall be conducted with or through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the receiving state or such other ministry as may be agreed. Mm -hmm. Should she have rather channeled her concern through the ministry as See, well, first of all, instead Bella, of going Bella, on social again, media. Again, you can, I, I'll, I'll look at the Vienna Convention later. I mean, Article 3. Uh, I'm reading 41. But I, two. So, so I'll address what you are saying. Mm -hmm. First of all, an interest in a matter mm. is not the same as concern. She has not expressed concern about the matter. Has she? She has just expressed her interest. Concerns will be when you say that what you are doing is wrong. And so you must refine your way the way you do it. Mm. She hasn't expressed that concern. I believe that the interest will lead to her expressing concerns. And those concerns, I believe, will now be expressed through the right channels. But for now, in my view, the tweet simply expressed an interest in the matter. And for me, anyone sees with information on the matter, like the IGB, mm. should have been seeking to give her that information so that it will add to other information she already has. Okay. That will then refine whatever concerns she will express diplomatically. Do you think this response also affects the bilateral relations that we have with the United Kingdom, especially uh, looking at the fact that now we're telling the same people who have come to our aid many times mm -hmm. to mind their business and not meddle in our internal affairs? You see, with United all... It's with, contest. With all, with the issue all, is with all sincerity, I, I'm a liberal pan-Africanist. Whatever, <laughs> you know, however anybody mm. interprets that. I'm a liberal Pan-Africanist. And I do not subscribe to foreign, you know, uh, uh, nations and, you know, uh, governments mm. uh, meddling too much in our local affairs mm. and politics. I do not subscribe to it. Mm. And so when I see one, I, 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 I will support whoever stands against it. So I, I can understand what may have informed the IGP's reaction. Mm -hmm. But I am of the view that in this matter and on this case, the IGP went overboard. Okay. Because there are ways that he could have still dealt with a perceived interference or a perceived meddling into our affairs without... Make, take, I mean, making it look like we are at war of mm. West mm. with, with the High Commission. Okay. And so, um, yes, those who say that um, 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 we, we, we depend on them so much and yet we ask them to mind their own business, you know, uh, they're also right in some, in some contexts. For me, sometimes some of those things should remind us to learn to do things by ourselves and you know uh, work on uh, on on improving our issues and 
reactions like this don't help because then it 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 betrays our ignorance. It shows mm -hmm. how ignorant we are in 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 dealing in even asserting our rights. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm saying is that the IGP should have known, and I'm sure the the Foreign Affairs the High Commissioner will be laughing at the IGP because the IGP should have known that it is not for him to point out an infraction as far as the Vienna Convention is mm. concerned to another, to an envoy of another nation. Mm. It's not for you to do that. Mm. So when you act in that manner, you become a laughing stock. Uh, yeah, yeah. You may be fighting I, a good cause, but you, you, are, you do it wrongly. You are assuming, you are assuming without um, knowing that the IGB might not have consulted. I no, I, I am saying that no mm. matter what, no, if the I, IGP no, see, did I, consult, I, I, it would, the Foreign Affairs Minister would have advised no, I think him see, to allow her to take it up. Okay. With her. Did he, did he consult? I know. I think that you see the issues that we are discussing is of extreme sensitivity, mm. and um, you know it's a great concern to me that as a people we cannot be united on one front as it relates to certain issues that borders on our sovereignty. Mm. That is that is extremely key. I look at this issue and I look at it that it borders largely a lot more on our sovereignty and how continually we are supposed to exercise our independence. The issues that the IGP raised, I mean, if you read all 15 points, I don't know if you have ever read it for your viewers, mm. maybe some people will not have had time, but- We did, uh, there, midday there news is, yesterday. Okay, there, is, there, is, there is that comparison between a Ghanaian who is resident in the UK and undergoing certain um, trials and Ghana's interference in the issue. So you see, let's 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 discuss the issue um, proportionally, and let's ensure that it does not impact negatively on the image of the country. Fantastic point. Mm. So understand. you see, no, we must. No, but, no, hold on. I'll let you please let him land. I thought I was still no, on the floor, no, and no, you no, had that. No, no. So you were done. That's why I asked him the question. Let me add another almost fifty minutes. Oh, do you know the number? Carry on. You also spoke for quite a while, so please carry on. Anyway, go on. It's your time. You understand. So, I mean, I think that let's handle these issues very well. The issues that have been raised for me, I think they are very important issues that the IGP has raised for the interest of the High Commissioner to be able to see that if at all, because you see, look at the issues that we are facing in this sub-region. We've had coup d'etats in Burkina Faso. Um, we've had terrorist attacks mm. in Burkina Faso. 70% of Burkina Faso land is in the hands of terrorists. We've had terrorist attacks in Togo, terrorist attack in Benin, terrorist attack in Ivory Coast. Mm. We've had coup d'etats in Mali, coup d'etats in um, Guinea-Bissau, mm -hmm. coup d'etats in Burkina Faso itself. And so if anybody at any stage, especially one who is a postgraduate student, and for me, you see, I'm an academic. I, I find it sometimes um, with the greatest of apology, persons who are pursuing higher level of education you know, really thinking please, please of a mind the microphone for us. Thank yes. you. Yeah. You know, having having a backward approach in their thinking. How is it that someone who is pursuing a postgraduate um, studies at Cambridge University would want to purport to want to take a country backward in the manner in which he does? And so, let's discuss the issues. Let's look at the merits and the demerits, and let's move on to other important issues. But I think that in in putting it on record, mm -hmm. the IGP did nothing wrong mm. in representing the country in the manner in which he has. I think that the Ghanaian people should be very mm. proud of him rather than, you see, this is not a letter of war. This okay. is a letter of clarification. This letter seeks to clarify the issues that might be even in the mindset of other persons who might not be informed. But even when you talk about Oliver's case, you seem to make a prejudicial statement I, no, I've, on I've the not, matter. I've not made any prejudicial statements. You can't say I've not made any. You haven't. No, never. When I've you talk made, about the fact, I mean, no, from the I've beginning, you read his no, tweets and said no, that this is it, someone it is, from Cambridge, need, Cambridge need, University, who is calling for a coup. We need to give the background. For a we need to, we need to is give that the not background. a prejudicial no, statement? I need because to be able to. Matter is being heard in court. I need to be able to give a background for which reason it has necessitated the IGP to respond in the manner in which he has responded. The because man has the not been tweet. heard in court No, yet. but so it's the same tweet. No, but we he's been to court. Yeah, but then, yes, I can leave the them with you for you closed. to read. Yes, the case is ongoing. Uh -huh. Good. So why so do you make that statement you and say that for someone yourself, it's like uh, a in Cambridge that is, University to if, call for if, a coup? If you, if you associate yourself to an ongoing vehicle, you are becoming party to it. Which is why, for me, this issue must be discussed as we are doing and disassociate the the issues mm. as it relates to mm. diplomatic matters from do you understand mm. so those issues are important 
If you look at this statement, I've stated this is a letter of clarification that we have, the IGP has written. And like, it's a state institution that represents the entire country. We need to throw our support behind him rather than send him to the slaughterhouse to be slaughtered. I find nothing wrong with this. I've, I've, I've read it several times. I've so even if he's wrong, people. we should throw our support behind There's him? There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's nothing you wrong with it? Convention. You can have the Anyway, let, let me read a tweet that, that the president put out. This was on <laughs> the 1st of June 2020. And this was with regards to the death of George Floyd. And the president tweeted uh, and said that black people the world over are shocked and distraught by the killing of an unarmed man, uh, black man George Floyd, by a white police officer in the United States of America. It carried with it an all too painful familiarity and an ugly reminder. It cannot be right that in the 21st century, the United States, this great bastion of democracy, continues to grapple with the problem of systemic racism. It's longer than this, but I'll just leave it here. I know where your now, question is going to. Now, <laughs> for, 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 <laughs> I, know, I, know where, now, I know where her question is going why to. Why did we not tell the president at that point that do fear him? Because at that point, was he not also meddling in the affairs of a different state oh. by putting out this tweet? The president represents our country. <laughs> The president of the Republic of what, what, who, who does the, mm. the High Commissioner represent? Hold God? on. <laughs> the president represents our country. He's asking you a question that who does the High Commissioner represent? Who does he represent? It? According to, the Vienna, the, according to well? the Vienna family. According to the Vienna According to the Vienna Convention. Is it not the Queen of according England as well? According to the Vienna Convention. Is uh -huh. represent her family? Uh, no, but you see, according to the Vienna Convention, she represents the United Kingdom but she's meddling with internal matters in the country. No, by the extension. The president represented is, no, Ghana at that no, time was meddling by, in by, the affairs by, by, by of the United States. By extension, it is stated on record. Maybe you may not be aware. Let me bring it to your notice. Okay. It is stated on record that close to about 70% of blacks are all around the world mm -hmm. take their heritage from an African continent. Oliver Bakavoma is in school in the United Kingdom. He's a student at Cambridge University. Oh, my dear sister. And so they do have an interest in that matter as well, Let's because he has a visa and is in a school in the United Kingdom. Let's not overstretch the issue. You see, he's a postgraduate student schooling in the United mm. Kingdom. No doubt. I mean, it's stated here very clearly. There are other evidences that are here that maybe I'll give this to you. Share it on your page if you would for people to read, mm. okay, and have a clear understanding of the issues. You are saying that the president tweeted on a I'm global I'm not saying, issue. I'm just well, reading, okay, you are reading what a he tweet. tweeted. Yes, yes, you are reading a tweet. From his page. Good. And that tweet is in the right direction. Why? Mm. Because research has stated that 70% of African living in the diaspora take their lineage and heritage from the continent. Mm. And so it is right for a president who in right standing adds his voice to issues that are going on globally. What is wrong is for the High Commissioner to want to associate herself to mm. an issue mm. that is being treated as treason in court. Mm. And I think that let's, let's, let, this is, let's, let's separate them. This is the cause of death. Mm -hmm. This is an issue that is being tried. There are two different but, things. But is it not the same thing? Because, again, Oliver is a student in Cambridge University in the UK. If, he con if he's considered as a threat in his own country, shouldn't the UK be concerned about that? Because eventually he might come back to the UK. They when, should be worried when, when, that for someone who may I know have put out such to. posts, when, when, the UK should be concerned about him when, as well when and his Oliver, conduct? In fact, it's right for UK to be concerned. When Oliver presented his statement. He didn't add the United Kingdom as part to his statement in court. Mm. If he did, then they will have the local standard to be able to But that's to tried knowledge. That's tried knowledge. He was picked up at the airport. He knew. He had even posted oh, but before he stated that detailing this is a what time who, he will land in the country. This is a man who has stated that, that the army is useless. The police monitor the flight that brought him yes, in Yes, but the this UK. is a man who stated that the army is useless. And the IGP in his statement said, even in the United Kingdom, and I know you travel a lot, when you travel to the United Kingdom, and even mm. at Heathrow Airport, mm. and you find um, an ex-military person, mm. they are giving preference. It's the highest level of respect that we give to our officers. And I think that that same highest level of respect must be accorded to our Ghanaian officers. Mm. And you see, those are the issues. He didn't add, did he add the mm. United Kingdom as party to his statement? Mm. He didn't. So let's, let's have the conversations but differently. But the UK government should be interested. Interest is not a problem. Because he's a student there. He has it's, a visa to the it, UK. It's, it's not is that problem. not all so that they did? Interest is not a problem. So why are is, we having this Is that this not discussion? all they did? Interest, if interest is not <laughs> a problem, why are we having it, this It discussion? is the association 
of the issue which has come to the public domain. Goodness. This statement is the association of that which has come to the public domain, which we need to bring clarity to. Because in this country, there is the rule of law. The law works. You, you but know you just said well. that interest is not a problem. No, no, no. But you see, that is, so, no. The so if he's interested, no. then this, shouldn't, interested. Be, this no. shouldn't warrant this kind of response. of response. You see, I'm saying that this issue, this letter, right, we should all throw our back behind it on non-partisan backgrounds. Mm. This because is not about party. This, Bella, this is he, Bella, let him land on this. this I'll let you come about in. Ghana. This, this come settles in. on our sovereignty. And this is about okay. the okay. image of okay. Ghana. Yes, look, this settles look. on our sovereignty. Hold on. Just, Bella, just a Bella, few seconds. This settles been, on our sovereignty. Let him just land. Oh, very please. much. Right. This okay. settles on our sovereignty. And the very few paragraphs. I'm, I don't know. You said you read it yesterday, but I didn't follow your channel. These paragraphs, if you take a critical look at it, really addresses the issues. And if I can read one of the paragraphs. As a former colonial power and the source of our legal judicial and criminal justice, mm. etc., and indeed of our police service, we continue to look up to Britain, among other countries, for guidance with regard to how difficult situations are handled. We know that some leaders of faith-based oh, no, 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 on, on, on. And then he begins to unpack okay. his 15 issues. Okay. If you're talking about sovereignty, the UK should also be worried about their sovereignty. If someone is considered a threat in this country and is going to destabilize, um, you know, another country, that country should be concerned. But I'll you come in because exactly. you wanted to I mean, respond, few, respond to that. There's a few, um, uh, maybe two things. Uh, I'm getting a lot of messages on those two. That's why I'll just uh, put it straight. Mm. Uh, mm. Ansuma is from the Upper West. I'm told I said Upper East. Okay, okay. Upper West. Upper and West. Uh, I think right. going just to. Then um, um, the gentleman I said put, you know, bent himself. Mm. Actually, it was Tunisia, not mm. Egypt. Okay. You know, so, and his name is Mohamed Bouazizi also. But again, Bella, in this matter, related to the Tunisian example, mm. I will again reiterate the point that we must be careful as a state in the way we handle Oliver so that the handling does not in itself become a national security threat. Mm. We have examples in this country. If you did not live through the Rawlings' trial, please make time to read what made Rawlings the junior Jesus. Mm. Read, and you'll understand how Rawlings became the junior Jesus. And you'll be careful not to turn Oliver into a Jesus. That's the, that's the caution oh, no, I want the national security to, 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 to keep at the back of their minds. Mm. Even as they deal with, you know, uh, 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 comments that they, they, they believe mm. were uh, insightful in nature, they must be minded that through their actions and inactions, they don't turn him into the hero that has to be saved by the masses. You because think that one, the way they're handling one, him will lead one, to a revolution? It can lead to that. I am saying that it can lead to that. And there's example in history to show that people sometimes don't even have to fight for right causes, but they just have to say the right things that resonate with the masses. Mm. And you as much hurt their hair and you have a Magidon falling on you. Mm. Let our state authorities be minded in, in, in that dealing. Then again, when you look at, you know, the reaction of the high commission, let's not forget mm. Mm. that... The university Oliver attends, Cambridge, have mm. issued a statement before calling on the High Commissioner of Ghana mm. to show interest in the ongoing, you know, uh, 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 battles that Oliver is having with state securities, I mean, state security in this country. Mm. And so if the ambassador, the High Commissioner today, is showing that level of interest, and that is why I took my time to you know, separate the words in the twist, tweet. These are careful diplomats. They choose their words carefully. And so just don't look at the sentence and, and run. Take mm. your time to look at the words. She says, I understand. So it means she's getting some information somewhere that the gentleman has been arrested for traffic offense. Mm. And then she concludes by saying, I'm interested to see how this will go. That cannot be interference. Okay. Interference, we have lived with. You remember John Benjamin? Mm. We have lived with interference in this country, and I don't know where Pelgrave and Co. were. But mm. we are talking, I, I don't know where our nationalism went when John Benjamin was simply campaigning for the removal of a regime. I don't know where that went, but I am saying, and, and, I, and I stood against that then, and I'm saying that if this 
you know, high commissioner, goes that tangent, trust me, I will be one of those who will say that no matter how bad our country is, she's mm. not the one to mm. teach us how to solve our mm. problems. Because I am that liberal pan-Africanist. But I'm saying that if you look at her tweet now, she only required updates. Updates that the IGP could have given her without the adjectives and the invectives mm. that we see in his letter behind the closed doors. Or even if he wanted to make it public, he could have still done so by just giving her updates, give her the information. Because why? And you have just reminded me. Let me show you Article 3. Uh, D mm. of the uh, 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 Vienna Convention. It reads, and I quote, ascertaining by all lawful means conditions and developments in the receiving state and reporting thereon to the government of the sending state. Mm. So it is part of the duty of the High Commissioner to get information and developments in this country and report to her state. But not to it, Not to the public. Is that so what I'm saying is that her tweet mm. was that she has some information, mm -hmm. and she's interested in how the, 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 the things will go. Mm. So a responsible state institution will take advantage of that mm. revelation and give her what you think are better particulars, so that she can report those better particulars to her country. You don't turn it into a war of wars, mm. a okay. battle that is needless. So do you think and there's, of course, we are grandstanding and posturing for attention. Do you think the IGP is losing focus? On this matter, she, he has lost focus. On, on this matter, on this matter, in fighting crime, I, I don't want to generalize it. Mm. On this matter, I think that he has lost focus. On this matter, I think he went overboard, and I think he must eat that humble pie. The high commissioner, even if he had to be uh, uh, reprimanded, uh, 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 had to be done through the foreign affairs ministry. Mm. And I believe in this case, she doesn't even deserve any reprimand, because all she was seeking was information. And okay. that information could have been given here without turning this into, you know, a battle of, of but, wars. I on mean, this matter, the IGP... If you look at Ghanaians well. and what they're saying, they're saying that IGP, you came in, of course, we had high hopes that you were going to fight crime. Now, it seems as if your focus has shifted um, to actually fighting the crime. We have the Nkranza shootings uh, on our heads. We have this lawyer who was also killed as well. Uh, the girl who was also killed at Cape Coast University. All these things are happening. Even the GBA says that there's some high rate of, you know, uh, insecurity in the country as well. Even that the police responded to that. Should they not be focusing on those issues rather than responding in letters to tweets and to other issues that may not necessarily be of concern to the regular Ghanaian? Well, you can, you can walk and chew gum at the same time. For me, <laughs> I believe that. Thank you. I believe that he could have still you know, responded to the <laughs> High Commissioner in a better, in a better the, way. You can walk and chew gum. No, but you see the issue. <laughs> no. the, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, was, me, let, let, let him land them probably Let me finish the point. I mean, if you look at our security in this country, it is true that things mm. are getting out of hand. Mm. I said it when uh, Dampari was um, appointed and the mm. celebration and the excitement that there was a need for him not to be carried away by the celebrity status that they were trying to impose on him, but to sit down, soberly reflect on the, you know, burden that mm. is put on him mm. and to make a difference. So far, I have not seen that clear-cut approach. Mm. I am impressed with the visibility that he attempts to, you know, uh, 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 create in the city of Accra. Mm. I don't know in other cities, but at least I see the efforts in making sure that you see police officers or motorbikes here and there, you know, that visibility is impressive. But it's not enough because it has not so stopped people from uh, feeling unsafe in mm. Nkranza and suggesting that there, there may be some uh, kind of uh, serial uh, uh, killing. Mm. Unfortunately, even uh, 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 promoted by people in uniform. Mm. That is their belief there. It may be wrong. But what is the IGP doing to work on all of this? Okay. He can do all of that. And can still, you know, respond to uh, 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 people who want information with regard to how they are handling uh, people they consider a threat to our security. Mm. Okay. I don't, I don't see the two to be uh, 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 different at all. But okay. Okay. Clearly speaking, mm. our security situation has gotten worse. There is no sign of improvement, 
it will be wrong to blame it on just uh, the IGP. You get the letter soon. you have the command. <laughs> it, is, it is terrible. I don't care. I think that anyway. it is obvious. Everybody sees that the security situation has gotten worse. I mean, the mm. lawyer who was uh, 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 recently murdered, murdered yeah, we still don't know if it was an armed robbery mm. or a contract The police are investigating. Yes. Uh, 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 but, but, I mean, some of these things just, just, just beats your imagination. You had... Uh, the gentlemen who were also arrested in Tamale because some MPP chairman, mm. you know, hired them to go and attack somebody. We don't know where all these cases are. I'm saying that you cannot put all the blame on IGP Dampare. We have mm. a commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces who is in charge of our national security, who assured us of our security, you know, and got our mandate to be there. He must be acting. Okay. He must be given the right directions. Uh, uh, directives as far as All right. the, 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 the protection of our uh, state. My time is up, but finally, Paul, what I want to ask is that, so with this letter that has come out, of course, the conversation about... To the no, no, but it's also in line with that. The conversation about what the High Commissioner tweeted on the 17th of May. Now, the letter was dated 20th of May, and then on the 31st of May, this comes out. Is this a diversionary tactic from government so we don't sink our teeth enough into the whole Achimota issue in Karanza South, Killington, and all the other matters that require attention? Not at all. The government is very focused. Um... This country is protected by our security forces. The security of this country has not broken down, um, as other people would think and want to advocate and elevate the conversation of a state of um, um, insecurity in the country. Mm. We are aware that um, the national security has launched um, the See Something, Say Something campaign mm -hmm. um, for people to call 999 um, as a result of the threat of terrorism. Um, we have also increased and beefed up surveillance of security at the various loopholes in terms of the border towns. Mm. We've been using technology in terms of drone for um, the um, Eastern Corridor Road. Okay. Um, security is a bit. Um, okay. yeah, Honorable might not know the number of security persons we have deployed inter-region. Uh, when you travel to any of the regions, you would find strong security presence from the various places, Ghana forces, um, mm. the prisons, okay. the police, the immigration, fire service, customs. Um, so really, government is very focused. Um, okay. We cannot be distracted whatsoever on issues that um, concerns the public that Ghanaians All are right. also interested about. All right, thank and you so very much. As it relates to Achimota, we, uh, we're you. still making an independent probe into okay. it. And when the issues are out, we'll be able to... Um, inform the Ghanaian people. MP for Ningo Prime, Prime Honorable Sam George says that the hypocrisy of the MPP is shocking. The NPP affiliated Occupy Ghana gave a platform at a forum held at the Christ the King Catholic Church to call the Mahama administration corrupt. In that instance, an NPP affiliated group created and gave a platform for a British High Commissioner to attack a sitting government. As for the Mahama administration, there was no issue of That's sovereignty. Right. We All saw right. It here. Well, John Benjamin, we saw Nan him. Nanayao oh, also you? says that to have an interest in anything means the feeling of wanting to know or learn about something or someone. I don't think the British High Commissioner aired in her tweet. Good morning uh, to you as well. And also, quick one. Uh, so the business uh, desk here today, they're going to be discussing businesses and how they're worried that government is not responding to their suggestions on how to tame inflation. Fuel price increase to take effect from today as well. Uh, well. We'll tell you about the impact. We'll tell you about the new Ghana reference rate, which informs the interest rate on your loans. And details of these and other issues will be on our business segment at midday, uh, 7 p.m. as well, and also extensively at 4.30 p.m. Happy birthday from Michael to his kid sister, says Adobia, Francisca Adobia for you. Enjoy your day. It's a new year of blessings for you. This has been the big issue. I've been speaking to Palgrave Bwachit Dankwa. He's a government spokesperson on governance and security. And Alaji Suini, Al Hassan Suini, is the MP for Tamale North Constituency. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. We'll be back oh, with some more. We have an exclusive with the general secretary of the NPP, uh, John Buedu, who has just announced that he is running again, hoping to retain his seat as general secretary. We'll have a conversation with him when we get back.